going? This is Patrick from Honest View, and today, right here in Seller Central, we're going to be creating some single-use claim codes. This is an updated version of this process for 2016. It's currently August 2016 as I sit here at my desk. Bueller. 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 To create these single-use coupon codes is essential for any seller, uh, as it's a way to give a discount to individual people without them sharing it with their friends or leaking it online. So uh, I'm going to use a real example here just so that you can get the sense of exactly what it is that you need to do step by step. So if that sounds good, let's get into it. For example, we have our Li Hao Bamboo Knitting Needle Set. I know you guys love knitting, as do I, and so we're going to use this as the example. Uh, so I am set up here, as you can see, as a seller of this product. This is what you need uh, going into this. Right here, again, from the home page, we're going to go advertising and then promotions. Forget all this other stuff. We're just about the money off coupon. Okay, great. So there are three steps here. We're going to run through them all. And uh, afterwards, you'll have a beautiful set of working coupon codes, I promise. Step one, conditions. So at least this quantity of items, one. That's fine, it doesn't need to be changed. Purchased item. The second field determines exactly which one of your products this coupon code is gonna to apply to. And if you've never run a promotion uh, for this particular product before, uh, you're gonna to have to click on create a new product selection. So we're gonna do that. It's gonna open a new tab. And uh, product selection type, we're gonna distinguish which products by ASIN list. It's clean, it's nice, create product selection. And uh, remember, we're gonna do a discount on our knitting needle set today. So, okay, product selection name. Here we're gonna do uh, knitting needles. This is all for internal reference, by the way, so um, there's not really, you don't need to get too fancy with it or add a bunch of keywords, don't worry about that. ASIN list, so here we're gonna distinguish exactly what ASIN um, this promotion is gonna apply to. So you can find the ASIN in the URL of the product, uh, which is here, or uh, where did I put that? Yeah, if um, you can also find the ASIN here, which is uh, in your Seller Central under Inventory and then Manage Inventory. Cool. So um, this particular promotion, this product selection, we're only going to do this one ASIN. You could add multiple ASINs if you want, but uh, that's not the point here. We're, we're just about the new needles today. So submit. Great, so it says you have successfully created the product selection. Cool, that's what I like to hear. Now we're back here in the create a promotion. Now we've created a new product selection. It's not gonna populate in real time in this drop down menu, so you're gonna have to refresh the page, a little F5 action. Never hurt anyone. Uh, so purchased items, knitting needles, there you go. So good, we've got buyer purchases, we've got purchased items down. Buyer gets percent off, no, no, no. You want buyer gets amount off in dollars. So the reason for that is that if you gave them a percent off, this would actually apply to anything and everything of yours that they have in their cart, which is super messy. You wanna make sure that you determine exactly the discount they're getting. Amount off in dollars is perfect for that. So our, our product is uh, $8.49, so let's do uh, $7.49 off, which means that we would be selling these uh, for a dollar at the end of the day. Uh, applies to purchased items, that's fine. Advanced options, you can take a look here, but um, you don't need to change anything to have this work just fine. Step two, scheduling. Start date, you'll find that it often, by default, puts it in some time around four hours in the future. That's because it, it takes time to propagate an Amazon system, whatever, just let them have their thing. And the end date, it's gonna put the end date some point uh, today, most likely. <laughs> Why is this in Chinese? I don't understand. That's super weird. Um, okay, so hopefully this won't happen to you, but what this says ostensibly, because I know what day it is, it's August 11th, 2016. So it's gonna put the end date um, at some point, uh, but it's most likely gonna be the day that you're making the promotion. So if you want your promotion to last longer than that, if you don't want your coupon codes to expire today at midnight, uh, then just put it somewhere in the future. So let's go to the end of the month. Uh, internal description, knitting needles, yes. Um, tracking ID, you can, uh, yeah, just kind of leave this as is. It doesn't really, you know, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so step three, we have additional options. We're gonna use single use codes, not group and not none. Certainly not none. So uh, single use means that people can receive your discount, but they can only receive it once and they can only use it once. 
Um, if it was a group code, see what's going to happen is it's going to give you a general uh, claim code there. And this could be used by however many people and they could just share it around, which for this purpose is not what you'd like. Um, you want a single use code. So that's going to determine the nature of the code. It's very important to check this box uh, because you, what you don't want is the discount on your knitting needles being leaked if it was a group code to everyone on the knitting subreddit, for example. So we're going to go single use and we're going to go one redemption per customer. That is correct. Claim code will disappear as this is not a group claim code. Uh, claim code combinability exclusive. That's fine where it is. Customized messaging also fine as is. So uh, if all this information looks good, um, watch your timing. Make sure you've got single use and make sure you've designated the proper uh, monetary discount. You can go to review and this will give you a summary essentially of what your promotion is uh, set to be. If you're happy with everything, click submit. And there you go, your promotion has been created. But weren't we supposed to get coupon codes? Like where are the codes? Where are they? That's the second half of this. So you're gonna go to manage your promotions and then you're gonna see some. So for, in my case, I've made promotions before so they're on this page, uh, but if you haven't, there won't be anything here. Uh, notice the filters. We're looking at promotion status active right now. And But remember how Amazon wanted you to create your promotion uh, four hours in the future? So your promotion actually won't be active. It won't be in the active section. It'll be in the pending section. So check that out. And there you go. Our knitting needles promotion is in the pending section. So what we're going to do is we're just going to view it. And we're going to go to manage claim codes. Great. So. Uh, now we're going to designate how many codes we want to get and don't worry you can always issue more codes after the fact So just um, get what you think you need in this first round. So uh, group name you guessed it knitting needles Knitting needles uh, $1 honest few promotion. How about that? And we're going to do 200 units, for example, and then uh, we're just going to create the promotion. And it'll say that it's in progress, but more often than not, if you just give it a little refresh action, it'll give you the download option. And that's what we're going to do. Click that. And you see it just downloaded here. So we're going to open up the folder. Folder, it's French and uh, it's going to give you a zip file and from the zip file it's going to give you a text document so if you click on that here are your single use codes 200 of them as we just requested and each of these 200 will go to 200 individual reviewers and the code once it's been used once for the discount cannot be used again and it has the expiry dates that you set in the setup so the logical next step is to find people to use these coupon codes so that your product can get early purchases, so you can get early reviews, and so that you can get your business off the ground and start making money. Uh, so if you need a partner to help you with that, my name is Patrick, I'm from Honest View, and we do exactly that. We've been operating just helping sellers to get initial sales and reviews on their products and to help bolster existing ones. Uh, so give me a shout in the office, it's hello at honestview.com or uh, toll free and uh, we'll see what we can do about your promotion. Anyways, thanks all for watching. I hope this was helpful. Leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.